we saw a score today on this, and it just shows you Washington playing games with the American people. A score of a hundred billion dollars in savings but over the next ten years. Where, where's the SGR fix in that? Where, where's the payment? You think that the Congress is going to allow a 22% cut in physician payments in light of the fact that we're going to have physicians running out of here anyway? And to not score that within the context of this bill, it, it's not only smoke and mirrors, it's flat out dishonest. From Washington, I'm Ed Kelly, editor of The Oklahoman, with Chris Castile, chief of the Oklahoman's Washington Bureau, and Mark Green, national editorial writer for The Oklahoman. Both men are frequent contributors here on NewsOK.com. Okay, gentlemen, what was the significance of what Senator Coburn was saying today? Well, uh, Ed, what we saw just now was a, uh, a clip from a press conference that uh, Senator Coburn and some other physicians who serve in Congress held today about the health care bill that the House may pass this weekend. And the big news of today is that the CBO, the Congressional, the nonpartisan independent Congressional right. Budget Office, finally came out with a cost estimate of how this new package of changes to the Senate health care bill will impact that bill and ultimately how much it'll all cost. So what they, what they said was that it would cost $940 billion over 10 years, okay. save $138 billion over that same 10 years uh, in spending. And what Senator Coburn is trying to say is that, the, you know, this report isn't credible because of what it leaves out. And among the things that he was saying in that clip that it leaves out is a normal increase, a customary increases to physicians uh, in Medicare and Medicaid, the, what they get paid by the government to serve people in government programs. He said it's just not realistic to not have that in mm -hmm. a CBO report. He said basically the CBO is saying we're going to go 20 years without ever giving the doctors a raise, right. and that ain't just going to that just ain't going to happen. Well, you know the CBO can only score. This is the word they use here in Washington. They can only evaluate bills on the basis of the information or the data that's supplied to them. They can't make assumptions that are not there. And mm -hmm. so, if if the authors of the bill say that we're not going to give doctors any increases in the next 20 years, that's the way they, they score the bill. Right. That's what, what they have to do. Now, the Obama administration was hoping that this report from the CBO, again, a nonpartisan, uh, non-combatant non in this whole issue, would be enough to put the count in the House over the magic 216 they need this weekend with a vote possibly scheduled as early as Sunday. Will this get them to where they want to go? I guess that remains to be seen. You know, when no, I don't think anybody really knows how many votes short they are, who's, who's possible to pick up. But you know, they, they have, as you said, been hoping that, that, that they can point to the fact that this bill would actually save money um, over 10 years. And, there, and there's kind of a rough estimate that it, that it might even save as much as a trillion over the next 10 years, although that's you know, so far out into the future nobody really knows. So now it's, it's, it's crunch time. Now they don't have right. anything else you know, to, to go with. They, they've got the language, they've got the, the CBO score, and now they've got to work on these, these holdouts to see if they can get the 216. Right. I mean, they've been working the uh, Democratic caucus for the you know, past couple of weeks anyway, and the pressure's really intensified this week, and it's like a, it's us versus them. This is Democrats. Do you want you know, Rush Limbaugh and the Republicans to be able to celebrate the defeat of this big bill, or do you want to stand with the president? And that's where the pressure's coming, and the CBO numbers allow them to say, you know, to these, to these uh, wayward uh, or wavering mm -hmm. Democrats, look, it's going to save money and uh, it uh, will cover a lot more Americans with insurance. Of course, part of the sausage making in, in Washington on any, um, on any controversial bill like this, how you get the votes, is, is deal making. Right. And, and everybody knows, I mean, it got so much publicity, uh, what, what the Senate had to do in December to get that Christmas Eve vote on the Senate bill with the big Medicaid right. promise to uh, Nebraska, the, the Cornhusker kickback, they called it. A similar thing in Louisiana, the Louisiana Purchase. There was a deal in Florida with Medicare Advantage people. So there's, uh, you know, lots of uh, uh, concern that the same thing is going to happen on this House bill, even though they're promising not to make any deals. And uh, here's what Senator Coburn said this morning about any House members that might be thinking about making a deal to vote on this bill. Number two is if you get a deal, for a parochial deal for you or your district, I've already instructed my staff and the staff of seven other senators that we will look at every appropriations bill at every level, at every instance, and we will outline it by district and we will associate that with the buy-in of your vote. So if you think you can cut a deal now, and it not come out till after the election, <coughs> I want to tell you that ain't going to happen. And be prepared to defend selling your vote in the House.